All right. Um, I'm trying to do two videos a day now. So hopefully I can keep that up. And here's number one. And I'm off to a bad start because it's already 7:55 at night. So forgive me, but here we go. Um, the first one of today is going to be about setting up a network drive. And uh, I really didn't do a whole lot with this until the past couple of weeks, until I've really had a, a use for it. So if you want to do this, it's it's good if you want a immediate shortcut to, and what I'm going to show you here is very, very basic. You can do a lot more with this. But you can use this to automatically start a connection to maybe your, like like my, my scenario is my family's desktop upstairs, I can connect right into public, the public folder on there for the pictures that I have stored on there. A couple, maybe 20, 30 gig of pictures on there. So first thing you're going to want to do is open up computer. And then up at the top you're going to see map network drive in the blue. If you don't see that, expand your window and it should be there. Click on that. And then what drive um, do you want it to be? what drive letter. Like your hard drive is usually disk C. Your CD DVD drive is usually disk E. Or D, I'm sorry. E for me is my SD card. And A is my public on my Dell Dimension. Or my desktop upstairs, your network network location. So I'll make drive drive L. And I'm going to browse for the folder that I want it to open to when I start that. So it'll take a couple seconds to populate, and these are the only two computers on in my house. My HP Pavilion, which is what I'm on, and my Dell Dimension. So I'll expand my Dimension and go to Games, because that's the folder. Let's say I want, uh, let's do Printers. I want Printers to open up, or uh, Users. And then I'll select whatever folder I want in there, my dad, me, and then OK. Now. I, I, I uncheck reconnect at login so it doesn't fail or anything if the computer's turned off, but you can leave that checked if you want. And then click finish. And here it's going to open that up for me. So anyways, here it is in my computer. I'll hit flag E on my keyboard. And look, there it is. Ryan Schultz, that's me on my dimension. I'll double click on that and I don't have a whole lot of stuff stored here. And all I have is APP dad. It looks like a couple lower leading files in there. But then my dimension, I can check that, and then public pictures, and here's all my pictures in there. And there's a lot of pictures in there. So, I really do like having network locations like this, and then you can disconnect or delete or something like that if you don't want it. And it's really great to use to uh, for an immediate shortcut to a file on another computer, on a server, um, anything that's connected to your network. Now, to find the computer, it does have to be on, and network and sharing has to be allowed. To do that, in Vista, start and type in network and sharing, and then there it shows up, network and sharing center. And you do have to be connected to your internet, um, wired or wireless. And then network discovery, make sure on that computer it's turned on. And I just leave all of these on because my router is secured. So nobody's going to get into it and use my internet or browse my files or something like that. But anyhow, um, hopefully that can help you and uh, thanks again for watching.